Eat Your Heart Out is not a bad film. It's very self-contained. And by that, I mean we basically follow the same characters in the same restaurant. And we don't really branch outside of that. But it still works quite well. This was released in 2023. It's directed by Jamie Andres Salazar. And this stars Adriana Milbrath as Maya, Eric Vandruff as Carlos, and Joseph DePiro as Paolo. And Paolo is hired by a restaurant, uh, a restaurant run by Maya and Carlos. And Maya gets on well with Paolo. She really likes him. Carlos, not so much. Carlos is not a very likable character. And things seem to be going okay for Paolo, but Maya notices that there's something off with the accounts. There's a, an issue with money. And to be honest, that part of it was not very well done, and it's kind of the main narrative. But I will explain with a spoiler why I felt really let down by that. But at the same time, there were certain characters who I needed certain things to happen to. And that part didn't disappoint me. But again, I'll give a spoiler warning in a moment. Paolo is a really likable character, and Maya's really likable. The restaurant is a really good space. I think we got to see a good amount of it, because a lot of the film is inside this restaurant. It's obviously important that it was a nice space to be, and it was. I think it worked quite well. We had a decent flow of customers. Some, obviously, we paid more attention to than others. And I think... Things kept moving forward, even though we were often in the same space. So I think all of that was handled really well. The pacing of the narrative is pretty good as well. It is a short film. Well, it's not. It's a feature-length film, but it's on Amazon Prime. I think it was like an hour and two minutes. It's not tremendously long, but any longer, and they would have been dragging it out, and they didn't need to. And not a lot of films know that. Some films will drag things out just for the sake of it, Absolutely not. I think they worked the time very well. So no complaints there either. If it sounds like your kind of film, I definitely recommend it. It flowed well enough. The characters are likable or at least very well written if they're not very likable. The performances were really good. Not too bad at all. So with a spoiler, I'll discuss what I mean by not necessarily liking the way the issue with the accounts went. So this is a huge spoiler for something that happens. Paolo plugged his phone in and put it up against the wall and set it to record because he had a feeling somebody was taking the money. And we, the viewer, see this phone and then we see, and I, as I said, big spoilers, we see Carlos taking the money, we see Carlos planting the money on Paolo. And obviously this was captured on the phone to the point where the camera actually focused on the phone for a good one or two seconds to tell us as viewers that the phone has captured this. Fantastic. Nothing came of it. Carlos obviously didn't own up to anything. Paolo was found with the money. Paolo was fired. And then he came back either later than that day or the next day. I, I'm not sure of the time frame. But he came back to get his phone. It must have been the next day because we then saw a montage of him in bed and Maya regretting him, letting him go and stuff. Uh, he came back to get his phone and... Then he kind of saw on his phone that the video was on it. And then the next thing we know, Maya has found out in other ways about Carlos's gambling and confronted Carlos about it. And we know she hadn't seen the video of the, of the theft or the planting of the money because Carlos then mentions Paolo and Maya panics and realizes she needs to get in touch with him. So she never even saw the video. So the video was never the evidence they needed and I was so desperate I really wanted Paolo to show that video to Maya and for Maya to see it and I wanted to see the look on her face when she saw Carlos planting that money I needed to see her reaction otherwise what was the point what was the point of the video if it was never used as proof there was literally no point to that part of the story and I feel kind of let down by it. it. It just set us up and then didn't deliver. And if that hadn't been involved, if we just remove that part of it, and let's just say we see Carlos planting the money, firing Paolo, and then Maya finds out about Carlos's gambling through his friends who come to visit, which is what happened, that's fine. But I still don't understand why they needed to film... Carlos planting the money when they didn't use it. There was no point to it. And it just, 
is a complete waste of time. So I felt like that was the only thing I can think of is maybe there was see there were scenes cut from the film that did show the video footage, but considering the film is barely an hour in length, it's not like they were trying to cut it down to size or anything. So that was really badly done. Very, very badly done. But aside from that, the rest of the film was absolutely fine and I I really liked it. So no other complaints from me. It's not an amazing film. It's not a perfect film. But it's an easy watch with, as I said, some well-written characters, some really good performances. If you take out the issue with the pointless phone recording, it's a pretty decent narrative. And if it sounds like your kind of film... I realise I've spoiled it by this point, but either way, Eat Your Heart Out has a lot of room for improvement, but it's still a pretty decent story.